Okay, so in this video we're going to take a look at degrees and radians and specifically changing from degrees to radians and changing from radians to degrees. First of all, just a little bit about degrees and radians. One degree is a very small measure of an angle. It's very tiny. It's 1 over 1, 360. 1 360th of a circle is 1 degree, so very, very small angle. A radian is quite a bit bigger. A radian is defined as the angle when you have the radius equal to the arc length L. When the two of them are the same you get an angle around about that size there. So you can see that it's a much bigger angle than one degree and much fewer of them will fit in a full circle. So how do we find out how many of these angles, how many of these radians are in one circle? Well, if we look at the circumference of a circle formula, so C, the circumference is equal to 2 pi or 2, 2 pi times the radius. So the radius is this, the length of the arc is this. So we can just figure out how many of these L's are in C. So if we say or is equal to C in this case, or, or is equal to L rather in this case, we can then divide across by or. So we can say c over or is equal to 2 pi. So that means there are 2 pi radians in one circle. 2 pi radians in one circle, which is 360 degrees. Okay, so 2 pi, pi is 3.14, so 2 pi would be 6.28. So there's 6 and just over a quarter of these radians in one circle. When we're talking about radians, we always deal in terms of pi, however, because um, it's just much easier for calculations. So this gives us a, a formula here. 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. That's our base formula that we use. I like to simplify it down to say pi radians, if we divide across cross both sides by 2, pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. That's the first formula that I remember. And then the second formula that I remember is if I want 1 degree rather than 180 degrees, I divide both sides by 180. So 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 radians and that's the second formula that I remember so if you can just remember the two of them then you'll be able to change any angle that's in radians into degrees and any angle that's in degrees back into radians so I've got a few to try here convert from radians to degrees so pi over 2 radians so I'm going to start with pi radians is equal to 180 so pi radians equals 180 degrees. I want pi over 2, so I divide both sides by 2. So I get pi over 2 radians is equal to 180 divided by 2 is 90 degrees. So pi over 2 radians is 90 degrees. What about pi over 4 radians? What's that in degrees? Again, I'm going to start with, two, with pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. Pi radians equals 180 degrees. I want pi over 4, so divide both sides by 4. So I get pi over 4 radians is equal to 180 divided by 4, which is 45 degrees. So pi over 4 radians is 45 degrees. Okay, these ones take it a little step further. What about 4 pi over 3 radians? What is that in degrees? So Again, I'm going to start with pi radians equals 180 degrees. I'm multiplying by 4 and dividing by 3. I'm going to start by dividing by 3. So divide both sides by 3. That's pi over 3 radians is equal to 180 divided by 3, which is 60 degrees. And then I'm going to go and multiply by 4. So multiply by 4. So 4 pi over 3 radians is equal to 60 multiplied by 4. So 60 times 4 is 120, 240 degrees. So 4 pi over 3 radians 
is equal to 240 degrees. What about 3 pi over 4 radians? Again, starting with this base formula, pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. I want 3 pi over 4, so I may divide by 4 first, divide both sides by 4. So pi over 4 radians is 180 divided by 4, which is 45 degrees. And then multiplying by 3, so 3 pi over 4 radians is equal to 45 times 3, so 45, 90, 135 degrees. So that's 3 pi over 4 radians. So that will work for any angle, any radian angle given to you in terms of pi. If you start with uh, this one here, pi radians is equal to 180, you'll be able to work it out like that. Then I'm going to look at converting from degrees into radians. So my base formula that I'm going to use for this one is 1 degree is pi over 180 radians. So I want 90 degrees in radians. So I'll say 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. So if I want 90, I multiply both sides by 90. Multiply this by 90, multiply that by 90. 1 by 90 is 90 degrees. And then 90 by pi over 180. 90 over 180 is a half. So that's pi over 2. 90 over 180, you can maybe uh, simplify if you want to divide 90 into 90, it goes once, and 90 into 180 goes twice. So that's pi over 2 radians. What about 45 degrees? So same again, 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. So if I want 45 degrees, I'm multiplying both sides by 45. Multiply this side by 45. So 1 by 45 is 45 degrees. 45 pi over 180, you can divide 45 into 45 to get 1, and 45 into 180 goes 4 times. So that's pi over 4 radians. So 45 degrees is pi over 4 radians. Let's do a couple more. 30 degrees, get into radians. So again, one degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. I'm gonna multiply by 30 this time. So multiply this side by 30, multiply this side by 30. I get 30 degrees is equal to, 30 into 30 goes one, 30 into 180 goes six times. So that's pi over six radians. So 30 degrees is pi over 6 radians. And last one then, 15 degrees. Start off, 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. So multiplying by 15. Multiply by 15. 15 degrees is equal to 15 into 15 goes once. 15 into 180 goes 12 times. So that's pi over 12 radians. So 15 degrees is equal to pi over 12 radians. So I have a few for you to try. So convert these from radians into degrees. We have 5 pi over 2 radians and 5 pi over 4 radians. Convert them into degrees. And then try these ones from degrees to radians, 70 degrees and 390 degrees. Stick your answers in the comments below and check with others to see if you got them right.